know what's so crazy? I waited till I was at the age of 32 to start getting into my field, which is trying to be a filmmaker. And that's crazy. And I just graduated last year. That's crazy. Starting something entirely new outside of the norm that you normally, you know, are used to and you know you don't know how to make that jump. I, most of my mates I graduated college I just was scared to do something that I wanted to do and if I succeed or not I didn't know how well that was gonna work out so yeah. So like I was saying well today I am at my local uh, nature park it's pretty dope. So, the first thing is that um, starting as a filmmaker at the age that I did, I think I was mostly scared because I wasn't really sure that I would succeed in this. And I think most time people my age, people who are older, who didn't go to college right after high school or whatever, I think there's always this uncertainty about going back to college and starting all over because I think it's always that fear and fear has always conquered, you know, a lot of things not being able to get done and when I did go back to college I felt overwhelmed because I was like okay this is probably not gonna work out because I just felt inferior I felt really scared and uh, yeah so I think the best approach and the only way I, I pushed through that anxiety and fear was just motivate I, I guess pushing myself to, I guess, believing in myself that I could be better. And it was, it was really hard. It was really hard. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am, let me fix this up. Weird vlogging when you're by yourself. I mean, it's kind of good, but it's weird when you're just talking to yourself in a place like this and you're nervous if someone's watching you. But, oh well. So, the other part to stepping out of your comfort zone is just making that step. I think we're all always scared of the unknown. You might ask yourself, what is the unknown? The unknown comes with uncertainty, not know if it's gonna work out. And when you're older and you've invested so much time at a certain job, especially doing something you don't love, that, that fear kicks in because of financial security and also uh, scrutiny from your friends and maybe your, your, your partner. Now that I'm beginning to understand filmmaking, I, I understand now how practical it is and also understanding the necessity to get out there and shoot and try to get better as a filmmaker. This necessarily doesn't mean just filmmaking. I think it's just doing something that is outside of your comfort zone and doing something you've always wanted to do. So what is this video really about? This video isn't necessarily, it doesn't really have any structure. This is more of a rant. All right, last place. I haven't been this far down here before. Yeah, I just want to encourage people who are trying to get out of situations that they're scared of stepping out of, I can tell you this, you just gotta make that jump. And as complicated it is to so many people because of you know their families and all the people involved in that decision that it might affect, sometimes you just gotta look out for you. And those are some of the best rewarding self-gratification things that I always advise because if I'm tr I'm learning how to do that because every day it's, it's a struggle to learn how to love myself and, and take care of myself. But it's just something that you know that will benefit you mentally, emotionally, and possibly in the long run, you know, it could, it could really give you a lot of joy just waking up every fucking morning being happy. If you get a chance, walk around your local park. I'm gonna step out here right now. Even though it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. But yeah, so until next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.